Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. If you are watching this video on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website. It's hanksters.com. This is where you can find all of our most current inventory. Um, when we sell a car and it's funded in full, we take it down off of our website. However, between our two showrooms, we leave our videos up at all times for you guys to watch. We never take them down. So, rather unique car we have to present to you today. Uh, 1964 Buick Riviera. Um, I don't have any documentation as to when the car was painted. I don't have any documentation as to when the motor might have been rebuilt. Um, it is an original, I think it's 78,000 or might be 79,000. We'll check it out when we're inside the car. Uh, original miles car. So um, 70,000, 70, 78, 79,000 miles. I can't remember exactly what it is, but um, we'll check it out. Um, power steering, uh, power brakes, uh, no AC on the car. We've had a lot of interest in this car in our showroom and you'll be able to see why here as we go around the car. Um, it's a fantastic looking car. Uh, the paint on the car is uh, phenomenal. Um, really nice black paint job with the, of course, the chrome front bumper and then the chrome foos wheels. Gives the car a real nice look. The car's a little lowered. Um, body lines on the car are really great. Again, paint on the car is really great. It's a black car, of course, so you know that's it. black's a hard color. It's going to show every little imperfection. But um, as we go around the car here, I'll point out anything that I think would be significant um, as far as the paint is concerned. But um, you have your Riviera designation there down low on the uh, driver's side front fender. Long doors on the car. So um, you'll see that the door gaps all the way down the front fender and the rear door here, not only are they uniform, but the uh, door closes nice and flush to the front fender and to the rear quarter. You do have one chrome mirror here. Window glass on the car all the way around is in nice condition. You'll be able to see a little bit more of that in the still photos as we continue um, here with our video presentation. Keep in mind there are probably gonna be at least 80 or 90 still photos up on this vehicle today um, that we're gonna post. Uh, bucket seats in the front with a center console, automatic car. Um, the dash, of course, black, silver combination, really good shape. Um, you can see the courtesy lights light when you open the driver's side door down there. Carpeting's in good shape, uh, both the floor mats and underneath. Really nice looking uh, vehicle. Again, the uh, bucket seats, both uh, passengers and driver's side, look to be in good shape. No rips, no tears, no discoloration. You do have courtesy lights back there as well in the sail panels that do illuminate when you open the door. Um, set of bucket seats in the back there with a little center uh, compartment gives the car a real nice look. This is a car that should sell pretty fast. We've already had a lot of interest on it. People asking, when's it gonna be ready? When's it gonna be ready? Well, it's ready. Um, one thing that took us a little bit of time that we'll show you later, um, there's kind of a tricky frame on the car, so we put a brand new exhaust system on it because the exhaust system, because the people that put the wheat larger wheels on it, the exhaust system was rubbing the tires on the inside, so we put a brand new exhaust system on it. We'll show you that when it's up in the air. Big deck lid on the car, fits nice and flush to both uh, rear quarters, and it's uniform, um, you know, in gap throughout, you know, top, both sides and of course the bottom where it meets the uh, rear tail panel there. Um, brake lights of course with the R in the brake light for the Riviera. Uh, backup lights there of course on either side of your uh, license plate. Chrome on the rear bumpers in fantastic condition. I would pop the trunk for you but I'll show you how we do this. We walk up here and we open the passenger side door and inside the glove compartment is the trunk release, and it works. So there's your trunk. Nice and solid, no spare, no jack. Um, we don't have a spare and jack ferry that come here and visit us and give us jacks and spares. So if we get one when we buy the car, we, you know, it goes with the car. Uh, if you don't see one in the video presentation or in the photos, there's not one in there. So there's not one in this car. Um, check it out, the body lines down the passenger side of the car are the same as the driver's. Door fits nice to the rear quarter and to the front fender. 
Um, I haven't seen anything in the paint whatsoever thus far. Real nice paint job on the car. I would, you know, it's a driver quality paint, but I would consider it, you know, one of the nicer cars we probably have in our building right now in terms of paint quality. It's a really nice uh, paint on the vehicle. Um, all four Foos wheels that you see, they look to be newer. Um, they're not pitted. They don't have curb rash. They're not rusted. They're not scratched. Um, so really, really nice set of wheels on the car. I already opened the passenger side door once, but we'll do it again. Again, you can see the uh, courtesy lights illuminate. Um, door panel's in good shape. Have your Buick designation there on the uh, door panel. Armrest is in good condition. Carpeting on the bottom of the doors. Um, the vinyl on the door panel. The plastic on the door panel. Everything's in good shape. Nice car, right? And uh, you know, for as long as these doors are, you know, they, they close. Nice. They line up. Again, door gaps, nice and uniform. There's your other Riviera designation on the uh, passenger side fender low. Driver side boost wheel looks the same part as the other three, real nice condition. This car just has a mean look to it. It's just a nice looking vehicle. It's got that big 455 in it. Power steering, power brakes, no EC, beautiful paint, original mile car. Not a numbers matching car. Uh, this car didn't start life with a 455 in it. So um, this is not a car, you know, when you have these car shows that everybody goes to, right? You see all these Camaros and all these Mustangs and this is a car you can take to the car show and I guarantee you, you'll be uh, <laughs> probably the only one there. Um, you know, very unique car. Definitely a car that's gonna get you a lot of uh, attention um, on the road and at your local car show, so. Let's take it out and um, try to maneuver this baby onto the lift. You know, it's a very low sitting car, so it takes some doing trying to get it onto the lift. As I mentioned uh, earlier, it has a little bit of a unique frame to it as well. So let's do that right now. Let's uh, take it, put it on the lift, throw it in the air, and show you guys what the undercarriage is. This beautiful 1964 uh, Riviera looks like. Taking a look at the bottom of our 1964 uh, Buick Riviera. This brakes up front. Uh, the entire suspension up front looks to be in good shape. Taking a look up at the oil pan, you can see the uh, sides of the block, the sides of the uh, pan, nice and dry. Uh, nothing out of the drain plug here. Starter's all nice and dry on this side. Chrome uh, flywheel covers uh, dry and in nice shape. Tranny pan's dry. So here's the weird frame on this car, kind of like an X pattern. And check out the uh, job the guys at Daytona Toy, or Daytona, Daytona Converter did on this uh, exhaust system. Coming down off of your exhaust manifolds, running directly um, against the frame. I mean, it's, take a look in the still photos and in the video, they really did a nice job. Like I said before, the exhaust was rubbing against, it takes a special kind of person to put an exhaust on this car before the exhaust pipes were running against the back tires and uh, floor pans in good shape, both sides. Uh, the whole frame you can see is, you know, it's all, all in good condition there. Um, so as I was saying, I wanted to get back further. You know, you can see they're nicely bent now up, not touching the wheels on the inside. Uh, you know, there's barely any clearance there. So it took some doing to get that exhaust system on there, but it's done and it's right. And uh, Thank you to Rob and the guys over there. Uh, drop downs on the rear quarters look good on both sides, both driver's side and passenger side. Um, you got some hangers here coming off of the uh, frames in the back, hanging the exhaust. And then of course your uh, rear bumper is attached. Looks like a newer gas tank. Up uh, where the rear end sits up there, nice and solid. No rust holes, rod holes, anything like that. Uh, disc brakes in the rear too, so discs all the way around on the car, no uh, front disc, rear drum. Fantastic car, 1964 Riviera. Um, so we stand under here and I do these video presentations and the reason we do them is because most of the deals that we do are done sight unseen. We never meet the customers face to face. We take a lot of photos, we take a lot of video, um, but we also have a lot of people that visit our showroom, not only uh, visitors just to see the cars and tourists, but as well as you know, people that are buying these vehicles. Um, I encourage all of our buyers to come in person. Don't just take my word for it. Come here, look at the paint, drive the car, 
Look underneath the car, check it out for yourself. Check out the suspension components, the leaf springs, the springs, the oil pan, the tranny pan, so on and so forth. You know, these are old cars. They're going to have to be maintained. There's going to be maintenance. It's no different than us. When we're 25, we need a lot less maintenance than we do when we're 65, right? Well, the same applies to these cars. They're gonna leak oil, they're gonna leak trans fluid, they're gonna leak power steering fluid, especially if they sit. You know, if the, you're up north and these things don't get used year round. Uh, down here in Florida, we're fortunate enough to be able to drive these things year round, but it's gonna take a little bit of maintenance to keep these cars on the road year after year. It's just the nature of owning a classic car. So, um, you know, we, we try to do our best, our due diligence to go through the cars and make them as, you know, as perfect as we possibly can, but none of them are perfect. Um, they're meant to be enjoyed, meant to be driven, meant to kind of be tinkered with from time to time. So. Again, 25,000 square foot showroom here in Daytona. I'd love to show you not only our business operation, but our entire inventory of cars, all of which we own. Um, I'd love to show you this Riviera or any other vehicle in our building that you might be interested in. Um, if you are you know, one of those people that just can't get away, that's no problem. We can do everything via email, over the phone, text message, um, DocuSign, you know, bank wire transfer. Uh, the whole process is, is very easy. Financing. If you are not a cash buyer on this particular car, that's not an issue. We do uh, work with three different collector car lenders that will give you up to a 10 year term on this vehicle with approved credit, of course. 10% um, down to the purchase price and then the remaining balance over a five, seven, 10 year period, whatever you get approved for. So that makes it nice. Um, what's nice about owning a classic car, especially right now, these things are holding steady or increasing in value. So um, you can get it and enjoy it for three, four, five years, turn around and sell it for maybe what you paid for, if not a little more. Or if you do take a loss, it's gonna be very minimal, I assure you that, so. Let's put this thing down on the ground, take it on on the drive and see how it runs out. This car was king of its day in 64, I'm sure. But uh, a lot of cool stuff. Tilt wheel in 1964. Uh, horn, that's working. Um, turn signals, driver's side. Passenger side. Oop. Accidentally bumped it off. Um, told you in the showroom, 79,212 is the original miles on this car. Um, accessory, turns the accessory lights on. Oh, nope, that's the fan in the back. Courtesy lights. There's some type of fan in the back that turns on when you hit the accessory button. Antenna does not work, it's power. You can hear it going click, 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 but it doesn't go up and down, but the radio works. It is like, I mean, there's a fence and there's the airport. It's an AM radio, so I guess you can listen to somebody talk when you're cruising down the road. Um, automatic car, center console's in excellent condition. Um, wipers. Those are functioning. Um, as part of the inconvenience package Buick offered in 64, there's no fuel gauge. So hopefully we have gas in this thing. I don't know what the deal is with that, but we're gonna have to look into it. Um, temp gauge down here, not up yet, cause we, well, it's about, I don't know, 150. It is up a little bit, cause we just started here. Um, your, what is it, I guess, oil pressure's down there. So two gauges down low on either side there. Um, Again, we'll have to figure out the fuel gauge. The little pointer's missing, so I don't know if it's buried in the cluster or what the deal is. Uh, we'll either fix it there or we'll mount a secondary one underneath the dash, whatever it's gonna take. Um, got a little flamethrower for the back seat. Uh, oh, power windows, all four. Driver's side, passenger side. Like I told you, power windows in 1964. Driver's side rear, passenger side rear. So all four of them work. Um, I, the courtesy lights in the back worked when we were in the showroom. Um, what else? Oh, dash, nice, not ripped, not torn. Uh, glove compartment. There's your trunk release right there. There's probably a photo of it as well. <sighs> 455, so let's go have some fun, right? 
Yeah, let's do it. Let's see how it runs. So I just went to the gas station and I put $20 worth of gas in this thing and uh, fuel gauge still didn't register. I wanted to make sure it wasn't buried so far to E that we didn't even see it. So that wasn't the case. So we definitely got to address the fuel gauge. Um, response time in the steering wheel is fantastic. I do have a little crack here at the top of the wheel. It's the original wheel. Um, check it out. No hands on the wheel. The car drives absolutely perfectly straight. Great pickup on the car. There's no shimmies, no tire shimmies, no uh, drivetrain shimmies, noises, uh, no vibrations in the steering wheel whatsoever, no vibrations in the floor, um, in the seat, nothing. Car runs nice, real nice. Has a very nice cruise to it. When we were at the gas station filling up with gas, I told you this car is a head turner. You know, I don't, I really try to always uh, undersell and over deliver, so I don't like to describe, you know, the cars being perfect, having, you know, perfect paint, anything like that. But this is one of the nicer paint jobs in our building. A guy at the gas station commented, he's like, wow, did you guys paint that? That paint's phenomenal. I'm like, no, we bought it this way, but, you know, it, it really is a nice paint job on the car, truly. Give us some gas here. Got to about 75, we're gonna slow down. 45 mile per hour zone. But you can see the uh, speedometer's got a little bit of a bounce to it, but it's at least it's accurate, you know, it bounces around a little bit, but um, Again, you know, even at 50 miles per hour, really nice running car. You know, it's not one spit and sputter and stalling out of the traffic light. Um, really good acceleration in the car. Tranny shifts nice and smooth. I don't know if you can see it all the way down there, but our temp gauge is like 190. So we're running, you know, for a 455, we're running cool. It's about 83 degrees out in Florida today. I highly doubt this car will be around very long. Um, it's just got a real mean look to it, real great paint. It's a unique car. Um, I have a lot of, uh, a lot of positive that I can say about this car. Um, 79,000 original miles. So at full retail price, this car is uh, includes shipping in the lower 48 United States, as well as a 12 month, 12,000 mile powertrain warranty. The price of the car is negotiable within reason, uh, but if we negotiate the price of the car, then we also negotiate the price of the shipping if needed, if you're not local here to us or if you're not picking it up on your own trailer. And then we also negotiate the warranty if you choose to purchase one. Um, it, uh, like I said, again, we're, we're, we're definitely negotiable on our cars. We own all of our cars, but you know, at full retail price, it's kind of a built-in turnkey type program. So. Today we're going to put at least 80 photos of this vehicle up on our website, if not a little more, and then we're going to be putting this video presentation up that we're doing for you right now. As long as the car is still up, it's still available. We are Hankster's Hot Rods. We are located in Daytona Beach, Florida. We would love to earn your business and add you to our growing base of customers throughout the United States and throughout the world. Hankster's.com, Daytona Beach.